Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan. And today we're going to continue our video series designed to educate and inform the public. So please subscribe to our channel. Very interesting question has been posed to us. Can I file for divorce in Michigan if my soon-to-be ex no longer lives here? It's a very, very interesting question because it's actually a more sophisticated question than it would seem at first gloss because normally when you sue someone, the highest, best venue is where the defendant resides. So if, uh, for example, somebody has a slip and fall and you want to sue them uh, because they were negligent, they didn't clean their place and you broke it like you want to sue, where do you sue them? And the answer is you sue them where they live. That's what you have to do. In most cases, the venue is going to be where they're at. So for example, you may live in Oak Park, but if you go to someone's house in Mount Clemens and you have a fall, you're going to sue them in Macomb, not in Oakland where you are. So the question here is, if my ex doesn't live in the state anymore, can I sue them in Michigan anyway? And one would think, based on what we just talked about, might be incumbent upon you to sue them in Arizona if they've moved there. Divorce is different, and the answer is no. You do not have to sue them where they live. You're allowed to come to the courts in the state of Michigan and say, you know what? I'm a resident of the state of Michigan. I've lived in the state of Michigan for at least 180 days before I filed. I lived in this county for at least 10 days before I filed it in this county. I want a divorce. You're allowed to do that and serve the other side wherever he's at. And it doesn't matter. And he can't come and say, well, I'm in Rhode Island, so this suit should have been brought over in Rhode Island under the Rhode Island laws. No, not at all. As long as you meet our requirements, you may file it in Michigan. Now, it gets a little tricky when you're talking about children. Because remember, the court has jurisdiction over you. The court has to have jurisdiction over the children. Well, what happens if you live in Michigan? And you want to start your divorce in Michigan, you have every right to ask the court for assistance because you want a divorce and you're a citizen. You want the court's help in getting a divorce. What happens if you want to serve the guy in Rhode Island but the children live with him? That becomes complicated. Why? You have every right to sue here for your divorce. But the question becomes, does the court have jurisdiction over those kids? Admittedly, the court has jurisdiction over you because you live here. And if the court hasn't made any rulings of any type, this is the first thing that your family has ever had before the court, and you file the court. At some point in time, I said, well, wait a minute. Yes, I have jurisdiction over you, but I can't order anything that's enforceable with respect to the children. They don't live here. I don't know if they've ever lived here. Michigan's not the home state of these children. Rhode Island is. So really, even though you can sue there, if he sues there, it might make more sense to conduct this case there. Why? Because we're going to have to make rulings. And that ruling is going to have to impact the children. And the court has no jurisdiction over the children. So that could be a more sophisticated analysis. So putting that aside, taking children out of that equation, the direct answer is, as long as you meet Michigan requirements for your divorce, you may file your case and you may bring that suit here. It doesn't matter if the other guy has moved to Alaska. It doesn't matter if he's moved to Australia. You can still do it here. Now, if you have any questions about your particular case, you can see it makes a difference if it's children or not. Whatever, give us a call and we'll be glad to help you out.